Trust. Trust is like an eraser. It gets smaller and smaller after every mistake. I would like to tell you a story based on trust. This story involves five people. I don't prefer telling their real names, so let's assume their names as Sana, Naman, Dev, Tanya, and Misha. Story begins with the friendship of Sana and Tanya. Both were very close friends. They shared their happiness and sorrow with each other. In one and a half years of their friendship, they became so close that they even started sharing their secrets with each other. Naman was a mutual friend of Sana and Tanya, and Sana had feelings for Naman, which she had shared with Tanya. Sana used to tell Tanya about almost most of the conversation between her and Naman. One day, Naman gave a surprise to Sana, which made her very happy. But Naman told her not to tell anyone about the surprise. She wanted to share this with her friend Tanya, so she asked Naman if she could tell her about this. Naman said, if you trust her and you are sure that she will never tell anyone about it, then you can tell her. Sana was so happy that she immediately messaged Tanya and shared her happiness. Tanya also promised Sana that she will never tell about it to anyone. After this, as always, Sana used to tell Tanya about her conversations with Naman. In between all this, they met a new friend which is Dave. For Sana, he was a friend, but for Tanya, he was as a brother. They used to talk to each other on conference calls for hours together, just making fun of each other and telling what all they did the whole day. Also, some secrets which they never told anyone else. After some time, they started avoiding Sana and what, whenever she asked him why he is avoiding her, he used to say, no, no, I'm not avoiding. It's just that I'm a bit busy with my projects and stuff. But one day, after Naman's surprise, when Sana was helping Tanya with something, Tanya shared the username and password of one of the social media accounts with Sana. Sana signed in with Tanya's account and was about to do what was needed to help with the problem. That is when she saw Dave's conversation with Tanya on that account which she wouldn't have checked if she didn't see her name in that conversation. So as said, Tana saw her name in the conversation which made her curious to know what is that they were talking about her. While he was avoiding to talk with her giving silly reasons. So Sana read their conversation in which Dev had written a message that read, Tanya, I'm telling you, Sana will tell our secrets to everyone one day. This message made Sana feel so hurt that her friends whom she trusted a lot had no trust on her at all. She was very hurt. At the same time, she got a call from Tanya asking whether the problem was solved. But as Sana hadn't got a solution, she told Tanya that she is not able to fix the issue. Then Tanya said, let it be, I'll see some other way to fix this issue. So Sana signed out of Tanya's account. The same day, after a few hours, Sana sent the screenshot of that conversation to Tanya and asked her about this. As that was the only thing going on in Sana's mind since she saw it. Tanya said, See, the next message, I have told him now that you will never do such a thing. But Sana only had one thing going on in her mind. That is, why is that even, why is that he even thought she would break their trust? After a few days, Sana had an argument with Dave and she told him, you don't have time to talk to me, but you have time to talk to your so-called sister about me. As her reply, Dave said, there is nothing like that, Sana. You are just overthinking. Sana said, don't think you are too smart. I have proof for what I am saying. She was already in a bad mood and Dave was just making fun of her message saying, Sana, I know you don't have any proof because nothing happened as such. Sana got very angry and just sent him that screenshot of his conversation with Tanya. This proved him wrong which made him very angry and he immediately called Tanya and started shouting at her for giving Sana her account credentials. 
Tanya wanted to talk to Sana about this and clear everything. But Dev told her there is no need of talking to Sana. So listening to her so-called brother, she dropped the plan of talking to Sana. Everything was normal between Sana and Tanya. After a month of all this, one morning Sana got a message from Naman which read, Is life a joke to you? Seeing this message, Sana replied to him, No, but why such a question? What happened? She didn't get any reply from Naman the whole day after this message. Sana was going on texting him hoping to get a reply. And finally at the evening, he replied. He asked Sana, You told Misha about this surprise? Sana said no. He asked her then, how did she come to know about it? She said, I have no idea. Naman said, if it's not you or me, the only person left is Tanya. Sana argued with Naman as she had complete trust on Tanya that she would never do such a thing. She started telling Naman maybe someone has hacked one of her accounts. But Naman shouted at her saying, hacking is not a child's play. So this is not hacking. Sana still argued with Naman. After a while of argument, Naman said, if you are so confident that your friend didn't do this, ask her. Sana called Tanya immediately and asked her, did you ever give your account details to Misha for any reason? Tanya said, no, I didn't. Sana asked her, did you by mistake tell Misha anything about me or Naman? Her answer was still no. She asked Sana why is she asking such questions. Sana told her everything. And Tanya was like, no, no, why will I even tell anything about it? I haven't. Sana sent her. Sana sent their call recording to Naman and told him, see, I told you. Tanya will never do such a thing. I trust her. Naman said, okay, I'll find out whoever it is. Sana replied to him saying, yes, please. I would also want to know who did this. Naman was very angry and his next message was, I'll give one last chance if Tanya has done this, ask her to confess. If she doesn't and later I come to know that it was her, then I don't know what will be my response to this. Sana was worried that she might lose his friendship because of some stupid person's work. So she again messaged Tanya saying, Tanya, Naman is really very angry. If it's you and he gets to know from someone else, I might lose his friendship which I don't want. So you know that. So please swear on your mom that you didn't do this. Tanya's next reply was, I guess I should tell you. Just give me five minutes. I'll reach home and text you. After exactly five minutes, Sana got a message from Tanya. I think I should tell you. Yes, it was me who told Misha about you and Naman. Sana was shocked. This broke her trust. She replied to Tanya, I trusted you. Never expected you would break my trust. Tanya said, as if you never broke my trust. That is when Tanya spoke to Sana about what had happened after Sana sent the screenshot to Dave. And as a revenge, she did all this. But this was not the right thing according to Sana. Sana shared the screenshot with only those two people who were involved in that conversation. But Tanya involved two others who were not at all a part of this, that is Naman and Misha, which according to Sana was wrong. So after all this, Sana stopped telling Tanya her secrets, at least those secrets related to Naman. At the end, I would like to tell you, trust takes years to build, seconds to break and forever to repair. Guys, whose mistake was it according to you? Do let me know your opinions in the comment section. See you all in the next video. Thank you.